All right, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. Check this out. Now, let's say you've created a, a really cool racing yacht. Uh, let's say it's about a 48 to 65 footer. And let's just say you want to make this boat float. Not only do you want to make this boat float, but you want to make it uh, sort of have some, some power going through the water. <laughs> well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this boat float. But uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene. So I'm just going to come up here to File. Let's create a new scene. I don't want to save any of that stuff. And now we have a blank scene. So let's come up. Make sure you're in your Dynamics menu set. And let's come up into Fluid Effects and create a quick ocean. Now, I'm going to create an ocean. And I want to basically check my options here. And right now I have my preview plane size set to 100, which, eh, that, that's pretty good. That's where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and create that ocean. As you can see, we now have our ocean shader 1, and we have all of this ready to, to play with. This is our ocean. So if I take a quick render, I'm going to uh, basically bring my render view over here. And let's take a quick render. And this would just be what the default ocean looks like. You can see where the algorithm makes everything look sort of um, the same all the way through. And we're at a pretty wide angle. We're looking at a lot of ocean here. So let's uh, fix that first. Um, what I want to do, I'm going to minimize that render view. And we're going to get a little bit better angle on our ocean. And I'm going to come up here and sort of zoom in a little bit. You can check the horizon line right here. I'm going to move that down a little bit. And now, Let's set an animation for like say maybe 600 frames. All right, and we have about 600 frames. So let's take a quick render now and see what it looks like. This is the newer render, and you can see where it looks a lot better. We have a little more randomness. Um, we've altered our angle a little bit here. Everything looks pretty good. And I'm in mental ray at the moment. Um, you can switch before uh, back between Maya software and mental ray. And that'll give you a pretty good idea. Uh, the only thing about Maya um, renders is that they lack the reflectivity of the water in some cases. So I'll go ahead and, and just choose our mental ray render right there. Let's do another render. And you'll notice in the water there's a lot more specular specularity, uh, a little bit more reflection. So anyway, we'll just leave that kind of it there for the moment. Now we're going to create a boat. It's not going to be the yacht that you just saw, because that was a, a custom cool racing yacht. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're just going to create a basic shape, um, just for uh, convenience. So let's go to our Create menu, go to Polygons, and create a cube. And we'll drag on the grid, and we'll drag again, set a little bit of height, and there we go. And let's come up here and make sure that uh, we're in shaded mode so that we have a we can kind of see what's going on and I'm gonna click the tumble tool cruise over here and we're gonna see that's what our object looks like in the water um, if you go back to the beginning of the animation you'll see that the water seems to have movement and dynamics but the object does not so let's correct that we're gonna make this into a boat or maybe a barge or something like that uh, and we're gonna make it uh, we're going to make it a boat and we're going to give it some properties so that it can move like a boat. So make sure you go to your choose tool. Make sure your uh, object is chosen there. Make sure you're on your dynamics menu set. And come over here to fluid effects. And in the fluid effects, we're going to go down to ocean. And this time, we're going to make a motor boat. We're going to take that object and make a motor boat. So go ahead and just click that. Now, you'll notice that usually when you click on there, you'll, you'll have a whole new menu set over here under Locator Shape 1 and under the Extra Attributes. And this gives us our attributes for this object that we just made a boat. And unlike a floating object, this is going to have some various things going on down here with some pitch, some roll. You're going to be able to set your length and width of the boat and um, some other stuff. So. Right now you can tell the default buoyancy is at 0 0.70, so it's basically sitting on top of the water because it is a boat and we do want it to float. Um, if that were the default setting for a make object float, that buoyancy would be more like 0.500. So just something to be aware of. Um, 
let's look at our attributes down here now in here and you can see where our throttle is set to zero so if I were to just play the animation from the beginning you, you're basically going to see it become a boat but it's not really going anywhere it's not moving it, it's not uh, it's just floating and kind of bobbing up and down you know, like a barge would <laughs> okay so let's let's change that up a little bit let's make sure the object is selected you'll see that you have these options let's give it a little bit of throttle okay and what we're going to do is we're going to basically turn this and and use the rudder like there was a rudder off the back end here and we're going to set that at a, at a 45 degree angle so if we come over here to our rudder and just sort of move the scale up let's find 45 right there and that should just make us kind of go around in a circle um, a 45 deg degree angle on a rudder is always going to make you kind of go in a circle so we'll set our rudder there and let's give it just a little bit Let's give it a little bit of throttle just to start out our, let's see, yeah, where is it? Where's my throttle? Uh, just regular throttle, okay? We're at zero now, so it's not going anywhere. So let's bring that throttle up just a little bit. And I'm going to rewind to the beginning of the animation, and I'm going to click play. <laughs> okay, now you see we have a boat, and that boat is moving around on that surface. It's sort of... Uh, picked up on the properties and um, of the water dynamics going on with the ocean shader and it's basically not going very fast and it sort of is making a 360 degree rotation now you can come up here and as it's playing down here feel free to add a little bit more speed and as you can see the object will, will start going faster if you go into the negative values Right now it's going to go out of the scene, but let's push pause here and let's move, just scroll back a little bit. Now we can kind of see that whole object. So there it's moving in a negative direction because the throttle is set at a negative. And we can make it go faster in the negative. If I turn that throttle on, it's going faster in the negative. If I go up in here to the positive section, it'll go ahead and reverse motion and move around in the positive so that's kind of cool you can um, interactively adjust uh, these a little bit and let's say we wanted to change our throttle position we could change that throttle position like that and we can basically give it a eh, just a tiny bit of angle or we can give it a lot of angle the more angle we give it the more it's gonna start doing its thing so there you have it. That's creating a, a motorboat. And it's sort of like a boat. Go ahead and play around with that a little bit. And all these individual things can be keyframed. So um, be aware of that. You can, um, you can come over here and look at your um, expression, your ocean shader. Everything in here is, is um, keyable. So just something to keep in mind. And um, that's a simple way to connect a boat to the uh, ocean shader and make it do some stuff all right so <laughs> I know it's basic I know it's simple but uh, it's the concept that counts so study on uh, read a book and um, have a great day etc over and out